Magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Narito na naman tayo sa isa pang video tutorial kung saan ituturo ko naman sa inyo ang iba't ibang parts ng isang polynomial equation. So, ano na nga ba ang parts ng isang polynomial equation? If we have 3x squared minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0, si 3x squared, negative 2x, and positive 1, yan yung tinatawag natin as terms. Ang bawat polynomial equation ay may iba't ibang dami ng terms. So, given na ito, meron tayong tatlong terms kasi sa tatlong beses, sinahati yung ating polynomial equation sa pamamagitan ng positive and negative symbol or plus and minus operation. Yung numbers naman sa unahan ng ating letters ng polynomial equation, yun yung tinatawag natin as numerical coefficient. Itong numbers naman na walang kasamang letter ay tinatawag natin as constant. Yung letter natin, yun yung tinatawag natin as variable at itong maliit na to na nasa taas ng ating variable, maliit na number sa taas ng variable ay tinatawag natin as exponent. Sa equation, meron din tayong tinatawag as leading term. Leading term sa term with the highest exponent. So kung titingnan natin yung terms natin na 3x squared, negative 4x, and positive 1, alin ba dyan na may pinakamataas na exponent? Yes, ang may pinakamataas na exponent ay si 3x squared. So, therefore, 3x squared is our leading term. Yung atin namang pinakamataas na exponent ay tinatawag natin as degree. So, therefore, the degree of this polynomial equation is 2. Meron din naman tayong tinatawag as leading coefficient. Leading coefficient is the numerical coefficient of the term with the highest exponent. Sa madaling sabi, siya yung number sa unahan ng ating leading term. So, therefore, C3 ang ating leading coefficient. Now, let's try. If we have 2x minus 4x cubed plus 3x squared plus 8 is equal to 0, and you need to write it in descending order or find its leading term, degree, leading coefficient, and constant, paano nga ba ang gagawin natin? So, Kung kailangan natin siyang isulat from descending order, kailangan natin muna tingnan yung bawat terms ng ating polynomial equation. So, yung mga terms natin dito is 2x, negative 4x cubed, 3x squared, at positive 8. So, yun yung ating mga terms. So, alin ba dyan yung may pinakamataas na exponent, yun yung pinakaunahang term na ating polynomial equation at yung constant dapat ang nasa pinakadudo. So, therefore, yung descending order ng ating polynomial equation is negative 4x cubed kasi ang kanyang exponent ang pinakamataas, which is 3, then 3x squared plus 2x plus 8 is equal to 0. So, yung leading term naman, yung may pinakamataas na exponent. Therefore, yung leading term natin is yung negative 4x cubed. Si degree ay yung exponent ng ating leading term, which is 3. Si leading coefficient is the numerical coefficient ng ating leading term, which is negative 4. At si constant ay yung number na walang kasamang variable, which is 8. So, paano kung meron tayong equation na 8x times the quantity x squared minus 3 is equal to 0? Paano natin siya isulat into descending order or find its leading term, degree, leading coefficient, and constant? So, kung papansin ninyo, naka-factored form siya. So, kung naka-factored form siya, kailangan natin i-multiply si 8x kay x squared minus 3. So, kung kailangan natin siya i-multiply, i-distribute natin si 8x or i-multiply natin si 8x kay x squared at kay negative 3. So, 8x times x squared is equal to 8x cubed. 8x times negative 3 is equal to negative 24x. Then, equal 0. So, since sa descending order na siya, ang highest exponent natin is cubed, so meron tayong equation 8x cubed plus 2x is equal to 0. Yung leading term niya is 8x cubed kasi siya yung may pinakamataas na exponent. Ang degree natin is 3, or yung ating highest exponent. Yung number sa unahan na ating leading term is 8, so therefore yung leading coefficient natin is 8. At since wala kayo nakikitang number na walang kasamang letters or variable, 
So therefore, yung constant natin is 0. Kung meron naman tayong 2x plus 2 times the quantity 2x squared minus 3 is equal to 0, and we need to write it in descending order and find its leading term, degree, leading coefficient, and constant. Since nakafactored form ulit siya, kailangan muna ulit natin i-multiply yung first factor dun sa ating second factor. Since pareha silang may two terms, therefore, gagamit tayo ng tinatawag natin as FOIL method. So, yung first term natin is 2x, then yung first term na ating second factor is 2x squared. So, 2x times 2x, times 2x squared is equal to 4x cubed. Then, yung outer naman, yung ating first outer term is 2x at negative 3. So, 2x times negative 3. So, for our next example, if we have the equation x minus 2 times the quantity x plus 1 squared is equal to 0, una natin gagawin is isolve na una natin si x minus 2 times the quantity x plus 1 squared is equal to 0. So, kung isusulat natin siya, expand natin itong x plus 1 squared para hindi tayo malito. So, yung x plus 1 squared is equal to x plus 1 times the quantity x plus 1. So, ganito yung magiging equation natin. x minus 2 times x plus 1 times the quantity x plus 1. Ulitin ko, bakit naging dalawa to? Kasi naka-squared yung x plus 1 natin. It's equal to 0. Ngayon naman, i-compute natin or i-multiply natin sa x plus 1 times x plus 1. Pwede nyo unahin sa x minus 2 times x plus 1 parehas lang naman yan yung lalabas sa sagot. So, ang gagawin ko is x plus 1 times the quantity x plus 1. So, bring down ko muna sa x minus 2. Then, x plus 1 times x plus 1 is equal to x squared plus x plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. Saan ang galing yan? So, x times x is equal to x squared. x times 1 is equal to x. 1 times x is equal to x. 1 times 1 is equal to 1. So, kung papansin ninyo, meron tayo dito magkatulad ng variable x and exponent. Kapag yung isang term or dalawang term ay may parehas ng variable and exponent, so pwede natin siyang pagsamahin by adding its numerical coefficient. So, ang lalabas sa kanya ay x minus 2 times the quantity x squared plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Sa so, nanggaling yung 2x, so di ba yung ating numerical coefficient dito is 1 kapag hindi siya nakasulat. So, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Then, just copy yung ating x variable. Next, Imumultiply naman natin yung x minus 2 times the quantity x squared plus 2x plus 1. So, i-distribute natin yung x times x squared. So, x times x squared is x cubed. x times 2x is equal to positive 2x squared. x times 1 is equal to x. Negative 2 times x squared is negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times 2x is negative 4x and negative 2 times 1 is equal to negative 2. Ngayon, pagsasamahin naman natin yung may parehas na variable and exponent. So, yung x cubed, wala namang ibang x cubed dyan. So, therefore, magiging x cubed dito. Yung 2x squared, parehas siya ni negative 2x squared. So, since parehas sila, 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. Pwede na natin itong i-cancel. Now, yung x naman. x times negative 4x is equal to negative 3x. Then, yung ating negative 2 is equal to 0. So, yan na yung ating magiging equation. If we will write it in descending order, parehas pa rin siya ng lalabas. x cubed plus 3x Minus 2 is equal to 0. Ang leading term niya is x cubed. Ang degree niya is 3. 
ang leading coefficient niya is 1 at ang constant natin is negative 2. Now, let's try. The equation x plus 2 squared is equal to x plus 4. So, ang una natin gagawin dyan is to solve yung x plus 2 squared. So, equal yan kay x plus 2 times x plus 2. So, equal x plus 4. Ngayon, i-multiply muna natin yung x plus 2 times x plus 2. So, x times x is equal to x squared. x times 2 is equal to 2x. 2 times x is equal to 2x. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Then, just copy yung x plus 4. Ngayon, kung papansin niyo yung 2x at saka yung 2x natin is para sila ng variable and exponent. So, pwede natin siyang pagsamahin. So, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Then, just copy yung kanyang variable x. So, ang magiging equation natin is x squared plus 4x plus 4. Then, equal to x plus 4. Since nawala na yung mga factored form natin, pwede na natin i-transpose or ilipat si x plus 4. So, kapag nagta-transpose tayo, nag-change ng sign yung ating nililipat sa kabilang sign ng ating equation. So, yung x is magiging negative x at yung 4 ay magiging negative 4. So, ganito yung magiging itsura niya. x squared plus 4x plus 4 minus x minus 4 is equal to 0. Dahil wala na natira doon sa ating right side na equation, so equal na siya kay 0. Ngayon, pagsamahin naman natin yung parehas ng variable and exponent. So, si x squared, wala siyang parehas ng variable and exponent, so it's still b x squared. Si 4x, kagaya siya ni negative x. So, 4, then yung ating numerical coefficient dito is 1. 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. Then, copy yung kanyang variable x. So, plus 3x. Then, 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. So, ngayon, kapag sinulat natin siya in descending order, same pa rin yung lalabas. x squared plus 3 is equal to 0. Yung kanya magiging leading term is x squared. Ang kanyang degree is 2. At ang kanyang leading coefficient is 1. Ang constant niya, dahil wala naman siyang constant, so therefore, it is equal to 0. Thank you for watching this video. Kung meron pa kayong comments or suggestions para sa ating video, kindly comment sa ating comment section.